That's Caitlin Ohashi, everyone. If you didn't know about her already, she made everything look so easy with her contagious smile and confidence that she was literally bouncing off her feet. It's as if Caitlyn has a spring on her entire body that allows her to effortlessly go through her routine. Best of all, it's very evident that she's having fun. Needless to say, the world fell in love with Caitlyn Ohashi a hundred million times over when her joyful floor routine went viral. In fact, the video I showed you earlier has 241 million views and 1.4 million likes. Since then, Caitlyn has successfully leveraged the moment into becoming a sought-after voice for the most empowered generation yet. A star in elite gymnastics long before she dominated the internet, Caitlyn had the Olympics in sight until an injury took her out. Instead of letting this weigh her down, Caitlyn found her voice and discovered her power. With a focus on gender studies at UCLA and exploring a range of art mediums including photography and poetry, Caitlin found the confidence to share her story and struggles through writing and performing her poetry at open mics around LA. After graduating, she was more than ready to take on the world. That said, Caitlin is a creative force and original voice primed to help inspire all people to embrace challenges, love themselves, find their voice, and live an authentic, joyful, and purpose-driven life. But who is she actually, and how did she come to live this life? Caitlin Michelle Ohashi is an American former artistic gymnast who competed for the University of California, Los Angeles. The American gymnast is undeniably gifted with her great talent and a passion for gymnastics and dance, which has led her in recent years to become a queen of social media as well as a great gymnast. Born in Seattle in 1997, Caitlin made her debut in gymnastics at a very young age. Wait for it, she started at the age of three. Yes, I wasn't kidding when I said she started at a relatively young age. After many successes in national and international gymnastics competitions, she joined the U.S. national team in 2011 at age 14. Those who will say that she's probably not ready for that should note that before this development, Caitlin beat a lot of gymnasts who started before her. One of them was actually the future Olympic champion Simone Biles. By age 15, Ohashi was a star gymnast who won her first senior elite competition. Unfortunately, in 2013, shoulder and back problems put an end to her professional career. The said injury sidelined her, although she was able to return to gymnastics in a balanced and healthy way under the guidance of legendary coach Valerie Condos at the University of California, Los Angeles. After back surgery, the girl decided to get back into the business as a college athlete. Since 2016, Caitlin Ohashi has been competing and winning for UCLA, which, as you are all aware, is one of the most famous and successful schools of the NCAA, the federation that organizes the sports tournaments of the university teams with stars and stripes. Overall, she was able to bounce back, both literally and figuratively, on her feet. And so, to her fans' delight, Ohashi became the only gymnast to ever beat Simone Biles. In 2018, Ohashi and the UCLA Bruins won the NCAA Gymnastics National Championship title. The following year, Caitlin became a global sensation when a video of her perfect 10 floor routine at the Collegiate Challenge went viral on social media, earning her the nickname Perfect 10. Yes, it was referring to the clip I showed you earlier. You saw her have fun, but you haven't seen this. Caitlin's joyful smile and sassy, fluid moments make her floor routine look easy. In fact, the routine is ridiculously hard, says UCLA coach Valerie Condos Field. Every single thing about it, including the backward split that she does after her leap pass, it's insane. In addition to that, Caitlin is also a 10-time All-American, 10-time Pac-12 Specialist of the Week, 4-time USA Gymnastics Junior National Team member, 2019 Pac-12 Balance Beam Floor Exercise Co-Champion, 2018 NCAA and Pac-12 Floor Exercise Co-Champion, 2018 NCAA Team Champion, 2013 American Cup All-Around Champion, 2011 Junior National Champion, and scored 11 perfect 10s, 9 on floor, 2 on beam. 
All that said, it is not at all surprising that a lot of young gymnasts look up to her. I've always been a fan of Caitlin Ohashi's, and I just love her floor routine. Ezra, a Dreams gymnast, said, I'm excited for her to show us how we can get better at performing gymnastics. Lainey, another gymnast, said, However, even in her best time in the world, Caitlin Ohashi was considered too heavy to achieve excellent results in this sport. Fortunately, no obstacle can stop those who really love what they do. And as you've already seen, Caitlin loves and enjoys what she does. For as long as she could remember, she had been a gymnast. As a young athlete who showed immense promise in sports, she came to understand that her worth as a human being was dependent on her athletic performance. With every gold medal won, pass landed, and weight made, Caitlin received more praise and reassurance. Unfortunately, prioritizing short-term wins over long-term health and mental stability is a common mentality in the sporting community. She was no exception. So, after years of emotional and physical stress, Caitlin's body collapsed during a routine on bars, leaving her unable to continue competing at an elite level. It was then that she experienced some weight gain as her training sessions ceased and her strict diet was not enforced. Not only had she lost gymnastics, but she also had to deal with body shamers publicly tormenting her changing body. Fortunately for her, she was able to eventually re-experience the joy that the sport had once brought her. It took me having a different goal and path to follow to finally find joy and love within the sport again," said Caitlin. It's not the outcome, it's not me standing on the podium with medals. It's me being able to walk out with a smile on my face and truly being happy with myself. In addition to finding joy in gymnastics again, Caitlin has also worked to enrich her life in other areas besides sports. Her experience of being body shamed and pressured to look a certain way sparked her interest in poetry. With a focus on gender studies and exploring a range of art mediums, including photography and poetry, Ohashi found the confidence to share her story and struggles through writing and performing her poetry at open mics around LA. While accepting her award for the best play on the ESPY stage, Ohashi delivered a rousing original spoken word calling out body shamers, sexual assault, and cyberbullying. However, fans found it ironic that last Halloween, the ex-UCLA gymnast dressed up as Mera, the fictional superhero from the DC Extended Universe portrayed by Heard in Aquaman. In a viral photo, she posed with a man dressed as Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean movie series, a role iconically portrayed by Depp. One of the photos shows Ohashi with her hands around her companion's throat. The online community didn't find this amusing. Caitlin quickly apologized for posting the insensitive and thoughtless photos of herself and another person dressed for Halloween as Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, the now-divorced celebrity couple who traded accusations of allegations of domestic violence and abuse during their high-profile defamation case last year. As someone who has experienced and spoken out against abuse, I understand how wrong it was and expect more of myself. I hope you can accept my apology. I will be better she said in a tweet. It goes without saying that people in the limelight, even athletes, have to be very careful with what they do, say, and post.